Alright fellas, first of all, seems we are going to hit 2k, and I want to thank all of you for your insane activity and strong support. You are awesome, love you dudes. Well, how do we imagine farm base in Rust? Something looks like stone cube full of plantations, right? But what if I will tell you that you can easily increase your farm profit in 50 or even in 60 percent mostly for free? Sounds nice, isn't it? Before showing you scale variant, here is my teeny solo farm base. As you can see, there is everything you need. So basically you can even use it as a starter base and sometimes I do. Start building it with default 2x2 starter base. I'm not going to film how to build 2x2 guys, I hope it's quite obvious. You'll need to get something close to this. Here is all the stuff for a good starter and this is your plantations room. And when you will be ready to arrange your farm you need to build these triangle foundations and make an access tweak foundation and try to place water pump as much to the right. When you will be lucky to place water pump, continue securing this part of your mini farm base with walls and floor ceilings. Place water barrel and some boxes in this room, drop medium battery somewhere in here and set up your electric circuit. When you're done with it, come back to your plant boxes room. Double floor it and place sailing lamp exactly in this place. It will lighten all the lamps then. Make a shelf and you can place more lamps where you want to be them and wire it. If you care about heater as well, as on me, it's better to place it in here. Place a ramp on the shelf and upgrade it into sheet metal stage. Then place plant boxes and sprinkles in this way. Technically, you're gonna be okay with how it works. However, to avoid extra water losses, let me explain you one thing. As you can see, now each small plantation gets only 3 water. And large gets 5. It means that upper splinter detects all 5 our plant boxes and split its water between them. And lower splinter detects 2 large boxes and right small one only. Well, I would say it's better to place top splinter right behind lamp and as you can see now, each small plantation gets 5 water. It means we isolate bottom plantations from top splinter and place lower splinter somewhere in here. Now each large plant box gets 7 water and it means that we did everything perfect. Make your plants more happy watering them with water jug, plant your beauties and here we go. There won't be any water issues and light goes to each plant. Perfect. Alright, and here is vertical farm concept. I did it cause I found it's pretty cool to have some kind of hydroponic farm in Rust. But it needs to be revoked a bit, but even now I got two ideas with it. And here is one of it. This footprint is incredibly perfect for such vertical farms. Implement it in your base designs or just to replace these ugly cube farm boxes to something more defendable, functional and interesting. It's quite easy to set up this config. Start with making shelves and you will need these triangle wooden shelves further to place large plantations on top. Now place twig low walls in these sockets for a while. Next you can place bottom large plantations in this way. 
pull the third one towards you as much as you can. Then place the first sailing lamp in here. And the second one can be placed in this spot. It will 100% guarantee you that all your plants will have light for sure. Place top splinter from this spot in here. Check that it's not water in your bottom plantations. And if you are good, place the bottom one in here. Now connect it to the water system and each of your bottom plant boxes now should get at least 5 water. Next, you need to place ramps, grade it into sheet metal stage and place plantations on top as demonstrated. Do not remove these wooden shelves, either you will demolish plant boxes. And each of your upper plant boxes should get 7 water. What means that sprinklers do not mess between top and bottom plantations and that's it. You are free to place composter in this place and any deployables you need in rest free space of this room. As you can see all the plants have light and by the way the only thing you need to know else is when the plants in top plantations from the lower floor will grow enough you might not be able to plant anything above it until you harvest it. This is not a big deal, but just keep it in mind. Well, if you found this video useful, please like the video, and I will much appreciate your subscription as well. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time. Much love.